All right, well, this is the last day of the month of December. It is December 31st, New Year's Eve, and this is the last video I am making for this month challenge for myself. Super excited to have been able to successfully do it this whole month. I'll be honest, I did not think I would be able to produce interesting content for a month. And obviously every video wasn't like a banger, but uh, there were some that I really liked. And um, most days I was at least, you know, content with to be able to put out there and say, yeah, I made this today. I guess I just wanted to kind of summarize what I learned this month doing this um, and what I felt like was uh, helpful for me in this month of just making videos every day. This is definitely the most amount of videos I've ever made in this kind of time frame. I've never done one a day like this before. So it was really cool to be able to successfully finish out the month with a video every day. I think the biggest difference for me making videos this month was the fact that I was putting them all on YouTube primarily. I posted three of them on my Instagram that I liked enough to put there. But overall, these were just going to YouTube. And obviously, I was linking the, the videos in my bio each day. But um, on average, maybe 30 people would watch them. Um, some of them got more when I would talk about them on my story. Some of them got less. Uh, but pretty consistently, 20, 30, 40 views, which is um, a far cry from you know, 700, 800 views that I'll usually accumulate on an Instagram video over the course of a few days. Honestly, it was really refreshing not to have to worry about, oh, does this look good enough for Instagram? Does this you know, fit what I want on my Instagram profile? Um, instead, just being able to kind of throw out whatever I wanted. Day 30 was a perfect example of that. I would never really post that on my Instagram profile, but yeah, why not throw it up on YouTube? It's just a silly video of me and Jack wrestling and screw it, I can do that if I want. And I can do that on Instagram too, but Instagram obviously just social media like that has a, a weird fixture in your brain if you let it, um, kind of controlling what you can and can't post and is it good enough, is it not? So I really liked the platform of YouTube giving me the ability to just kind of experiment really and just create whatever I wanted and throw it up there if I liked it. Having to make something every day was absolutely a challenge. I creatively ran out of energy about midway probably. Day 14 or 15 around there I was starting to really have to think hard each day what I wanted to do. Early on I had multiple ideas and directions that I wanted to go but by the time I'd reached the middle of the month it wasn't that I was burned out really badly on making videos. It was just that substance wise, I was just running out of things to film. You know, there's only so much content at my house surrounded by my family. You know, I had to kind of balance this. How do I find something interesting to film each day when it's the same day over and over and over? You know, we're just stuck at home quarantining for the most part. So I think the best videos were the ones where I shook up the formula a little bit. Um, the biking video, uh, the disc golf video where I got out and did things, but obviously I was pretty limited on what I could and couldn't do. I really liked that I had to put something up each night. It pushed me to just shoot. A lot of times I'll have ideas in my head, but it takes me a long time because I'm waiting for the perfect day or I'm trying to make something better in my head. But with this every day, I just had to figure it out and get something up each night. And I really liked that it pushed me to just film and just record something. There was definitely a couple days where I really didn't know what I was doing for the video that day. And I just went outside and started shooting and then something came to me. It was really cool creatively to see how that affected my process. Obviously production value wise, if you want to call it that, most of my videos this month were just kind of raw footage. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of high editing to them. You know, not any masks. There weren't really transitions. It was just footage. And um, that definitely helped keep the production editing side quicker. But at the same time, it was interesting seeing how, yeah, when you have 30 minutes to get something up, you're just going to get back to the basics and just cut it up and get it out there. But even those times when I felt like I was pressed for time and just trying to get something out, I was proud of myself for producing something that I still wanted to show people and was proud of putting out there. So it was a good challenge and it was a good dynamic to make myself cut down on my editing time. It's really easy to criticize my work and just feel like it's not worth sharing, it's not worth uploading. And this month was really good for me in that regard, uh, just with respect to uploading something and just putting it out there. And sure, it's not getting you know hundreds of views and it's not really even impacting anybody, but it's something I made each day. And for that, it was cool to see. Um, and just reminding myself that creating content to create is sometimes the end goal, you know? You don't have to have likes and comments and shares or whatever. It can just be, yeah, you made a video and um, that was good enough for today, you know? There was more than a few videos where I just wasn't happy with the color grade and I didn't like the audio 
but I was like, you know what? I just need to get it up and it's okay. That's gonna be the video for today. If I had to pick a least favorite video from this month, it'd definitely be the water bottle video. I didn't like that one. I was scraping the barrel for ideas at that point and had just kind of run out of things to film and that was what I settled on. I just needed something. So that was my least favorite video. My favorite video though was probably day 10. That was the one where I felt like I was really kind of tapping into just creatively shooting things around my neighborhood. Um, I just went out with my camera and a tripod and just got different shots for a couple hours and loved it. It was awesome. That being said, I always love feedback. So if you had a video this month that you particularly liked or thought was cool, um, I don't know, text me, send me a DM or something. Just let me know. Uh, I love hearing what people think about what I make and what I create. Thank you for watching these this whole month. If you've been there, uh, if you haven't, Go back and binge some of them. They're pretty short and let me know what you think. As for next year, I don't really know. Maybe I'll come back to YouTube and post some more on here in the future just because now I know it's kind of a freeing process and I can put stuff here that maybe no one watches. So in the meantime, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me and I will see you later.